Welcome to this video overview of generating returns in SureTax. In this tutorial, we will cover how to generate and regenerate returns individually or in batches, as well as scheduling batch generation. After logging into SureTax and selecting the business you're going to work with, you can reach the returns module using the menu. We land on the returns detail page where we can see filings that are due this month. Put another way, this is your list of work that needs to be completed. This is where you can perform two kinds of manual generation of returns. You can generate specific returns that you have selected, or you can generate all. Both of these actions are performed using the Generate button, which you can see just below the clickable boxes. Before we go too far, I will note that this process is the same regardless of which view you've selected to work with, detail or summary. The returns that drive both of those screens are the same, so the processes are also the same and will generate the returns for you in either view. Now if you arrive on this screen and see that nothing has been automatically generated for you in the month that you are filing, you would generate those returns by using the Generate Returns button. We already have returns here for the month of April however, so if we wanted to regenerate those returns, that could be done manually by selecting all of them and then clicking Generate Returns. The process of generating all of the returns typically takes between 5 and 10 minutes depending on how many returns you are filing. You will receive a notification on the screen that the batch generation is in progress, and also an error message here if something goes wrong. Now let's say you have all of your returns available, but you have recently added a new transaction in SureTax that needs to be considered for a specific return, so you want to regenerate that one return. Let's have a look at how that works. I'll select the Maryland return to regenerate. This checks the box for that return. Then I'll click Generate Returns. We can see that the return status for this return has changed temporarily to pending, and the Generate Returns button has turned gray, which means it's disabled. When the regeneration is completed, the status for the return changes back to its prior status, not reconciled, and the Generate Returns button is blue again. Now there is a simpler and more efficient way to ensure that your returns are generated for you each month on a specific date. This will save you the time of sitting and waiting for your batch process to run. At Walter's Kluwer we call this our light out option. To set it and forget it, click on the menu and select the account settings option under configuration. Here you will see the account settings currently active on the SureTax platform. On the right side we see an area dedicated just to returns. To allow SureTax returns to automatically generate your batch process on a certain day, all you need to do is to update the first option using the drop down list. Sure returns will automatically generate all returns on the date that you have chosen. For example, we currently have the 6th day of the month selected, so this is telling the application that on the 6th day of every month, generate all returns that are due for that current period. Pretty simple, right? We think so, and we will be expanding into some more options in this area in the future. And that is where we will bring this video to a close, by clicking on the Walters Kluwer logo to return to the SureTax dashboard. Thanks for watching our video on generating returns in SureTax.